Hey guys, what's up? This is Paul with Warrior Poet Society. Uh, got another quick tip for you when it comes to deliberate loading or administrative loading procedures for your handgun. Already did this on rifle, now I'm gonna talk you through it when it comes to your pistol. Whatever your mission context is, whatever that deliberate administrative load is, it's the first load of the day, uh, you started your training day out on the range, you're getting everything gassed up, ready to go, or you are going out, uh, you know, just conducted some weapons maintenance, you've got your gun put back together, you need to get it back into its duty configuration or home defense configuration or everyday carry configuration, whatever that is for you, okay? Uh, and you know, listen, I'm not very dogmatic when it comes to a lot of things. I like just to have a good process, a procedure, something that's easily repeatable that I remember I do the same way every time to make sure that my gun is gassed back up and in the capacity and configuration that I want it in every time. So take my, uh, got my CR920 War Poet pistol here, very cool little gun. One of the first things I like to do is lock my slide to the rear, guys. Once I've got my slide locked to the rear, guys, I've verified that I've got a clear and empty chamber. Uh, I grab my magazine. Notice here I've got some uh, dummy rounds. These are uh, actually expended UTM silent blank rounds that I use as dummy rounds. They work really well. So so uh, no live rounds in the gun while we're out here for safety purposes. Insert magazine, and then I'm gonna let the slide go forward, get my gun back into battery, either by using the slide stop lever uh, with my support hand, firing hand, reaching over the top, grabbing the slide, uh, rolling gun inboard, and slingshotting it this way. There's a lot of different ways to do this, guys. Then I like to conduct a press check. Uh, take the gun slightly out of battery, reaching up here just behind the muzzle, make sure that I've got a round chambered, and I'm good to go. All right, so that's how I conduct a deliberate load, administrative load for my firearm. Guys, a lot of ways to do it right, a couple of ways to do it wrong, but just make sure that whatever you're doing makes sense. It translates into uh, good fighting habits, good combat habits later when you're actually out there running your gun. Guys, have a process, a procedure, a checklist, something that is repeatable, consistent. You do it the same way every time to make sure your gun is in the life-saving configuration you want it in. Anyway, train hard, train smart, stay free, guys. See you next time. My name is Will Stelter. Welcome to my shop and to my class on knife making. I like to start off with smaller knives, generally because you get those fundamentals faster. Be able to heat up a piece of metal and beat it into the shape that I want is a feeling like no other. Excited to share with you what I've learned in the last 10 years of knife making.